staff member, but definitely as a board member who said um, that we do need to have better um, school lunches and we need to rethink in supporting staff who brought forward brilliant work around that and creating then a policy and then helping to support get a bond measure um, passed. So um, feeling, you know, definitely like it has been a long time coming. And again, there's been some kind of ups and downs, um, but just acknowledging that this has been also a historic um, project um, when it comes down to the issue of just construction. Um, and because, because we were able to bring, you know, minority contractors together, um, that we were really clear that like this is equity work that we have to do inside the district. And there's a reality behind that, that equity work ain't easy. So it ain't like you can just build a rainbow coalition and put everybody in the room together and they all good. It don't work like that. And so we are like now in phase two or three, and a lot of the people here on this panel and I'm super in particular is really been clear about how do we set the values for that? How do we set the expectations for that? How do we hold our people accountable for that? That you actually do that work. And, um, and if you can't do that work, you're not gonna be a part of Oakland Unified School District. You're not gonna waste the resources of, for our children. Um, you're not going to like, you know, we're not gonna waste time as adults going back and forth and round and round in circles, and we can't get it done for young people, right? So I'm really excited and proud of Oakland Unified School District and its leadership and everyone who sits in this room as staff, because I feel like we hold that line around you know, we can, we can battle and bicker as long as we want up to a first point, but when we have to get this done for children, we gotta get it done for children.